How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install the IAG AROL separator version 3. Now, this is the street series, but you can also get the competition series. But on the competition series, you are going to require a tune for it. And uh, installation is going to be a little bit different. I got this one because I think it's going to fit my build way better. With that being said, let's get into the installation. All right, first things first, a couple things you guys will need are uh, some Allen keys. I recommend some good like hose cutters, uh, but if you don't have them, you could always use a like a box cutter or like exactly knife. Uh, flathead screwdriver will come in handy and some needle nose pliers. So everything else IAG provides you with because uh, you got your little fittings here, uh, hose, and then your mounting bracket, of course, the AROL separate hoses. One other thing you guys, uh, I recommend you guys get are some gloves. Anytime you're working on your car, uh, it's best to wear some gloves. All right, let's get into the installation. To get started installing the air oil separator, the first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is take off your inner cooler. So you're gonna have a bracket there, bracket right there you wanna take off. You're gonna have a hose running to your turbo underneath, take the clamp off right there, loosen it, and you're gonna have a uh, your hose running to the uh, intake manifold or your throttle body, you wanna just loosen that, take it off, and then you're basically good to go there. You'll also wanna take off your cold air intake that's gonna sit right there. Uh, another thing you'll wanna, I suggest moving aside is your window washer reservoir. And the uh, last thing is gonna be the throttle body right here. Just take it out of these uh, screws right here and set it aside. That's the first thing you guys are gonna wanna do. All right, after you guys have done that, uh, to get started, the first thing you guys are going to want to do is take the hoses off the passenger and driver side valve covers. So passenger side is going to be right there. Boom. Running here. And then it's going to be like this hose right here. You'll take that out. And then the driver side is going to be right there. This guy here and it's going to be this hose right here see it moving around all right next thing you guys are going to want to do is come in here and remove your pcv uh, and that's going to be see if it'll focus this guy right there right in here and then you'll also want to take that little clamp off your intake manifold as well off so you're gonna take that whole thing off right here after you guys have taken that out you'll want to grab your Y uh, pipe right here and then the little hose they provided you and you're gonna basically put it on this little short hose with some clamps the clamps they gave me they didn't work so I just got my own and uh, once you get it like this, you basically want to go and then put it right on down there, right on that. So it's like that. All right, next thing you guys are going to want to do is mount your AOS. So you get this bracket here and three screws. The little guys are going to go in here and you're just going to mount it wherever you want. I'm going to mount it probably right here a little lower. And then these two screws, you get a big one. This is a 12 mil, and then this one's a 10. So the big one is gonna go up top here, and smaller one is gonna go right down there. And I will show you guys where you are gonna be mounting it. All right, to mount your AOS, you're gonna come on the passenger side over here, and basically it's gonna go right in that hole and then in this one. So it's gonna sit just like that, right there. Next thing you guys are gonna wanna do is grab your shortest one half uh, hose 
right here and then it's gonna go right into this little nipple here. Uh, do this before you actually mount your AOS in there. After you guys have mounted it, it should look like this right here. So that hose should be running around that line there and then into here through this bracket for your intercooler and then it's just gonna attach right down there to that uh, Y pipe we installed earlier into the PCV. All right, next thing you guys are gonna wanna do is take this line off right here that runs from your surge tank. So it's up here and it runs all the way down into your turbo feed line right there. So you wanna take that line off. After you have taken that line off, uh, you'll grab this hose right here on the left. So this one is gonna go back to the turbo the where you took it off right here. And then this one is gonna go right up back in here to the surge tank. All right, next thing you guys are gonna wanna do is take your 5 8 hose right there. That's your thickest one. They'll only provide you with one. And what you are wanna, wanna do is measure three inches of it right here. Like measure three inches and then you are gonna wanna cut it uh, and then put this 90 degree uh, little pipe they provide you with as well. And that is gonna go right in there. It's gonna stick right there. Sit just like that. It's gonna be right above the turbo and the rest of the 5 8 you're gonna put it on here uh, and then it's gonna route all going around and into this bottom one right there. Next step is gonna be grabbing this hose right here with this in the middle and then you got your uh, that at the end. So this hose it's gonna run right in there. You'll screw it in here and then the other end is gonna go into your manifold. Right down there, fill focus. Right, yep, right in there. Once you guys have finished that up, what you're gonna do is take your long hose, this is your 74 inch one, and you're gonna stick it on the passenger side valve cover right down there and you're gonna run it underneath here and this one is gonna go up to this one right there so it's gonna be the second one down after you guys have done that the next thing you guys are gonna want to do is take the rest of that 74 inch uh, hose and you're gonna go and put it on the driver's side valve cover so it's going to be right down there you're going to run it in there and then underneath and it's going to go into this last one right there all right guys we're almost finished up here uh last two hoses i want to show you where they go so you got this one on the right here uh, so what you'll want to do is you're going to want to cut two inches off of the half inch hose and then you're gonna get that 90 degree little pipe that IEG provides you with and you're gonna make it look exactly like this attach it to that hose and then what this end goes to is you're gonna have a little uh, PCV sensor uh, I don't have it uh, but gonna be attached to this plug right here if you're running a uh, OEM turbo inlet and that's gonna be this guy right here that's the turbo inlet so you're gonna have a white PCV sensor right in there so all you're gonna do is take that and then plug it in there if you guys don't have that uh, and you're running an aftermarket turbo inlet, IG provides you with this little plug. 
Uh, I don't have this either, but uh, some OE or aftermarket turbo inlets, they've got a little hole back in there. So what you'll do is plug that right in there. I don't have a hole in there, so I'm gonna get that PCV sensor and plug it in. But uh, if you got a turbo inlet with that little hole back there, just plug this in there and then attach this hose right in there, but you could do it on this one. All right, and the last one, this one on the left, is going to your turbo inlet. So just, you've got this hose right here, and then you're gonna put this little uh, adapter pipe in there that runs straight and uh, uh, attach this hose, and it runs to there. And after that, you're basically finished up. Just put everything back, attach the throttle body, and torque it down to, I believe it's six foot pounds, and you're finished up. After you guys have put everything back, you'll want to start the car. Uh, and before you start the car, you go back here, and you see that little uh, plug right there. You want to just unscrew that uh, just enough to where coolant can come out. And once your car uh, gets to operating temperature, uh, coolant, a little bit of coolant will start leaking out of there. And once that happens, just uh, screw it back uh, nice and tight, and then you're good to go. And that is how you install an IG air oil separator. Uh, that is all I got for you guys today for this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to give it a like. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer any of your guys' questions. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.